Hi Squish Cake Squad! Today we have a little bit of a double whammy video for you. So, hmm, where to start? <laughs> okay, so basically here's a breakdown of what's going on here. I got got by an Instagram ad. So nearly three weeks ago, I had this Instagram ad pop up. It was of like a little claw machine that had little stuffed animals in it. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. Like, can you imagine putting Squishville in that? Like, that would be such a cute way to store your Squishville. Cause I have so many Squishvilles that like, I don't know what to do with. I don't know how to display them. Like, I just, I don't know what to do with them. So I was like, that would be so cool. So this ad was from Timu. Now, a lot of you probably have heard of Timu at this point. I have never heard of it before that moment. I had never heard of it before. Didn't know what it was, knew nothing about it. That was the first time I ever saw anything from Timu. And they targeted me with this cute little like kawaii claw machine with little stuffed animals and I got got. I was like, click, you know what I mean? And it was um, a promotion, like your like a first time user promotion. So if you install the app, then you were able to claim that targeted ad, whatever for, for me, it was $5.85. Oh, I'm sorry, $5.84. I was like, I also, I would spend $5 on that, like absolutely. Apparently it retails for $58.48. So I did get one heck of a discount on this and I absolutely jumped at it, got got, installed the app and placed my order. It was also free shipping. So I could have literally have just ordered this $5 claw machine with free shipping and that's it. But that's not me. I have to look and see what else there was. I was like, what is this? Why is everything so cheap? Why is it like, what is happening? I don't know. And it had tons of reviews. Like everything was like positive reviews. And I was just like, rolling like targeted ads are so wild to me because they literally targeted me with the best ad to get me to download their app and make a purchase so part of me is like ah i got got but then you know the other side of me is like wow what a good deal um here's the thing though just really quickly i don't know a lot about timu it did sh everything did ship from china so that's why it took quite a while i don't know a lot about how ethical this company is um i've seen a little bit of mixed reviews it's ethical it's not ethical i don't know i'm gonna have to do more research so i'm not saying i I'm promoting Timu because I don't know enough about it and I do try to stay away from like fast fashion and stuff like that because a lot of times they you know steal designs from from individual artists which is not okay so I'm not saying go install this app because I want y'all to do your research especially if you are also ethically conscious about your purchases you make so but yeah i just thought that this was a fun thing to do and to kind of get an idea and get a feel for what it is because i've seen some other people doing videos um like is timu legit like is it a scam you know what i mean I, it's not a scam necessarily like i have gotten everything i've ordered and so far everything has been great quality exactly what i expected from the picture you know, it's not like knockoffs or anything like that. It's you're getting exactly what you're what you're buying, but is it ethical? I don't know. So that's just something to take away from this video. Okay. First of all, number one, the main thing that we're doing today is we are unboxing this claw machine and we're going to do that in just a moment. And I'm super excited. Uh, it is gonna be I think pretty small, but like I'm totally okay. I didn't want anything big anyway So I think this is gonna be perfect, but I cannot wait to take out the box and look at it because I've not seen it in real life yet Second thing I had found a little Karomi bag on Amazon for $20 and I'm gonna show you what that what that looks like So this is something I got from Amazon for $20. It has a little like silky strap. It's like a silicone material It's really weird but I got this mainly because I wanted it for promotional purposes because I made this Karomi 
shaker keychain or bag hanger. It is a shaker. It's very cute. I made it. Very proud of it. Anyways, shameless plug, Jaded Aesthetica on Etsy. That's my Etsy shop. <laughs> Anyways, so I made it because I wanted to promote what the bag hanger would look like on a chromey bag and also I just wanted a chromey bag so <laughs> I got this and um, yeah I love it right so I also wanted a my melody bag and the purple chromey bag as well because I'm also gonna make this in the like lavender purple but I did not want to spend more than $20 on you know bags so I just got the one just to kind of see what it was like and if I would like it which I do so to my surprise, I saw on this Timu app the same bags that I had saw on Amazon. Like the purple Caroli one was on there, the My Melody was on there, they even had Cinema Roll. Like they had all these really cute ones that had like the same style straps. I was like, oh my god, it's the same thing. So they were $5.48. And I was like, whoa, I paid $20 for these. Like, so I ordered the Cinema Roll, the purple Kuromi and the my melody one but I did not look at any of the measurements I just I was like ah, and ordered them okay so to my surprise this is what I got it is way smaller than the one I originally have so it kind of makes sense $20 $5 but at the same time this was not something I that I was able to find on Amazon, I could only find the $20 bag. So, am I upset? No, I am not. I actually love this. It has inside the same style strap. So, you know, put that on and it's gonna be just like a cute little mini bag and I'm super excited. I think it's still gonna look cute with a little shaker on it, especially whenever I make a purple one. So I am totally happy. This is definitely worth $5 to me, you know? Okay, and so I also have the Cinema Roll and the My Melody. All right, so here's the Cinema Roll one. It's so cute. And inside it has the little, this one's tied up. It actually is like tied up where the other one was just like kind of sitting in there. Um, but yeah, it has the little blue cinema roll strap in there. So that's going to be super cute. I don't have a cinema roll um, bag hanger, but eventually I'll probably make one and it will be super cute. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Here's the My Melody one. And let's open it up inside we have the super cute pink my melody strap i love this so like they're silky they feel so good i love it so i got this one because i actually also made a my melody shaker chain bag hanger whatever you want to do with it um so yeah they have little shakers inside but yeah, so the whole purpose of this one is so I can hang this one and again, for promotional purpose, show what it looks like actually on a bag, <laughs> as a bag hanger, right? And oh my God, look how cute. That's gonna be so cute. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so I will have these available in my Etsy shop. Um, TBA soon. I don't know at some point um, as, as well as with some other cute things that I've been working on. I only have two of each right now. They do take forever to make. So I, I don't usually ever have a large quantity of anything I make. Usually everything I make has like two to four and Will I remake them or restock them? I don't know because this is a hobby. So yeah, first come first serve. If you snooze, you lose, all right? So anyways, all right, so here's a breakdown of my entire order I got. I got the mini claw machine for $5.84. I got each of the little Sanrio bags for $5.48 each. And then I also found a four set of just these little um, cropped tank tops or just like little ribbed tank tops. And it was a pack of four different colors for $16.49, which was just over $4 per tank top, which is great because I wear these a lot. I love them. So yeah, that was good. So I spent a total of $41.59. Um, I also got free shipping. So the only thing is I placed this order on March 4th. And then I received my order on Wednesday, March 22nd. It took about two and a half weeks for it to show up, which isn't bad, but you know, if we're used to Amazon Prime, like it's not gonna be here in two days, you know what I mean? So, all right, now for the fun part, 
How about we open up our little claw machine and see what it looks like in person. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, we have the little package of the little stuffed animal toys that it comes with, which are, you know, a little bit smaller than Squishville, but quite similar in size, which is exactly what my first thought was when I saw this with these in it, was oh, I could use Squishville instead of these. So that, that was what made me realize this was maybe a really good idea for this. Um, there's also some little balls i don't know if they're like i'm pretty sure you can open them put like something like prizes or something in them and then people can pick the like it's like a mystery ball or something i think i don't know all right there is a cord a little usb cord there is a tiny screwdriver so apparently we have to screwdrive something in i don't know we'll find out Okay, um, this is what I see. So this one was called Pink Shiba in You. So we're gonna see what that looks like. Oh, 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 okay. It's all in. Yeah. Let me turn this around. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Okay, so there's our little pink Shiba in You on the top. Okay, the box is now empty. It's so little. It's so cute. Oh my god, look at it. Look at the little Shiba Inu on the top in the little dome. Okay, and then we have this cute little uh, purple claw. It has like the cute little background and the little buttons. Oh, wow. Okay, so it, you have to plug it in to get like all the little sounds and stuff for the claw to work, I guess. And there's a little shoot thingy. Alright, so it is like, um, it's plastic. It is like cheaper plastic, you know, but it's, it's fine. Alright, so it looks like, okay, so you lift this up. Oh, there's a little, I need like a stand. So we're gonna figure this out. Okay, I promise. Okay, so it has a little thing to cut off here. It's really tight. Oh my god. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Well, they use some heavy duty freaking plastic. I'll tell you that. Jesus. Okay, so we cut off the little thing and now. Okay, I feel like we need to get this plugged in. Otherwise. You know, how are we gonna get it to, to do its little thing? Okay. Oh, you have a volume control? Okay, so let's turn it off and let's get our squish in there. So, so I have a box full of some Squishville and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to like squish them down. 
otherwise. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're gonna get as many in here as I was hoping. It looks like we only are gonna fit like five, six, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven in there, not even a dent in my squish bill. I mean, I can fit more, but then like, it's not gonna, like you can't play with more. Anyways, let's play. Wait, how do you open it? Squish or Squishville? Come on, you got Squish in your name. You can do it. I believe. Squish! Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Y'all, I am deter- <laughs> I am determined! Yeah! What if we like, yeah, I know, I get it, I lost, thank you. I don't think it's gonna grab onto anything. Okay, what if we, let's test it out. I wonder if it works with like the ones that it came with. Oh, look. Look what I won. Oh, nice. Let's test it with the ones it came with to see if it will grab those. Okay, which, not gonna lie, these are really cute. <laughs> They're really cute. Okay, so. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, that's why. the problem i think like they're about the same like height as squishville but these ones are so much thinner and i think that these ones are just a little too thick to get a hold of okay that was so much fun oh, wait Okay, so, I mean, did it work out the way I wanted? 
No, even this sticker is like sideways. <laughs> it's not even like in there properly at all. Oh my God. Okay, so I was hoping that it would be a little bit bigger for, you know, Squishville storage. Um, I mean, I can still use it to store Squishville. Like, I mean, when am I gonna like sit and play this? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of for aesthetics anyway. So we can still technically use this as Squishville storage. Um, it's not exactly like the aesthetic I was hoping for, but you know, I do, I do wish it was like a tiny bit bigger, you know what I mean? But like, we can still absolutely use this as like a cute way to store like a handful of squish. So am I like disappointed? Absolutely not. I spent $5 on this. I'm absolutely not disappointed. Would I have been disappointed if I spent the like 50 plus dollars on it? Yeah, I pr probably, yeah, yeah. I don't think I would have been as happy if um, I had spent more than what I did on this so honestly it's still something that's really cute to put like on your shelf for display like the the aesthetic overall it's very cute very kawaii it's absolutely adorable we can still have this squish like displayed in there so absolutely not upset by it it's it didn't go exactly the way I had planned but I think it's really cute and maybe a bigger claw machine would be better for this idea. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that when I saw this with these and I was like, oh, I could use Squishville instead of those. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I had such a big brain idea and I thought it was very original only to find out that I am definitely not the first or the only person to think about putting Squishville in a claw machine, so. I was like kind of disappointed because I was like, dang, I thought that I was a genius. Um, no, I'm not alone on this, but it is a great idea and props to anyone who has thought of this and tried to make it work. Um, but hopefully we can come up with maybe a more functional idea, but for aesthetics and for storage, this is so cute. But if for any reason it, this ever comes up in like a different color, for five dollars then i would probably get it just because it would be really cute to have like two next to each other and i can get multiple squish in there but yeah i only have one two three four five i don't know like 12 to 13 squish in here which is like if that's all you have then great this is a great storage idea for you um if you're like me and you have dozens then you know i'm gonna have to keep thinking of other ways but at least you know i got at least like a dozen squishville somewhere cute and out of the way and not just in a box somewhere because right now they're just a lot of them are just like in a box until i figure out what the heck to do with them so 10 out of 10 i'm happy i think it's really adorable so this was good all right y'all know what to do leave a comment below let me know what you think about this was it worth the five dollars it was worth the five dollars is it would it be worth the fifty dollars no probably not but you let me know is it a good idea is it cool is it cute what let me know tell me what you think let me know what you think about these little sanrio bags too because i'm honestly obsessed i love them i think they're so cute and would you sport one of these bag hangers on one because but yeah, let me know what you think about this and let me know what you think about the little Sanrio bags and let me know your thoughts on Timu overall. It was a fun idea. Don't know if I'll do it again, but it was a cool experience and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and also please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Become part of the Squish Cake Squad. Uh, it's an amazing community, so thank you so much everyone for your support so far it means a lot to me so thank you and yeah i will see you guys in the next video really soon i promise okay bye have a good one bye <laughs>